Hi, it's Carrie with Picasso Cat Treasures again, and I'm going to do an unboxing today, not from a liquidation site, but from a person that I bought a lot. It was a lot of clothes, but it was also a lot of clothes from a woman on uh, Facebook Marketplace in my local area. And uh, we negotiated a price just based on a few photos, and I figured it was about 40 pieces of clothing, maybe a few more, and we negotiated 75 but when we met, I only had 20, so I just gave her 80. And she said, you know, I brought some purses too. And so I haven't seen any of these clothes except for a few, just a very few. But for $75, I figured, uh, I'll count them. I'll try to remember to count them. I figured I was going to get them at almost garage sale prices. Uh, and to me, that's one-stop shopping. And her things are very nice. Um, I wouldn't say super high-end, but I would say pretty darn nice, <laughs> nice thing. Uh, while we were there, she offered me a purse and I did pay an extra $40 for this purse because I wanted it. And then I thought, well, what do, what do I need a purse like that for? I walk around with a backpack or a fanny. I literally, I wear fanny packs and I have no problem. <laughs> so, so, uh, but I did, I bought this, this was, this was not included in the, um, negotiated 75 that I actually paid 84 because I wasn't going to give me my $5. Anyway, so this is a nice Kate Spade purse. I think, I think I can find it pretty easily on, uh, eBay so I can find out the, the actual name of the style because that's really important. Um, it's got a tiny, tiny couple of marks. Uh, on it, I probably could get them off, but other than that, it's in just beautiful, beautiful condition, and I paid forty dollars for that. Um, I'll clean it up as well as I can. It's again, it's not dirty, but it's God, it's a beautiful purse. It's one of those things, boy, you just want to keep it. But uh, I don't know. I'm, I've looked at purses Kate Spade used. Probably could double my money pretty easily at eighty dollars. I might be able to get more. But if I'm wanting to just get 20 bucks, I could put it up for $65, $68, probably get a pretty good price. This is one of those big satchel and briefcase bag. This is a big piece. So we'll see. Anyway, that was the first thing. It didn't come with my lot, but it did pay extra for it from the same person. So again, I haven't seen most of these. We're going to learn about them together except for one or two. Uh, some still have tags. This is one of them. This is, oh, that's that's pretty. Oh, by the way, I brought Maven. I'm in a new room now because it has better light. I brought Maven in because I'm always doing these alone and I just felt lonely. So Maven, <laughs> you can see she's wearing something from my uh, haul from Goodwill in Japantown, San Francisco the other day. So she's, she's looking good. She's a little armless right now though, but I may leave her that way. So this is actually has its tags on it. It's an Ellison and it's a crochet open knit and the original price is still on it at $27. Um, and so we'll count how many items I got for what was supposed to be 75, but I paid 80 because I'm not, you know, it's like, it was a good deal. So anyway, that's beautiful. I love that Maven. Maven's gonna like wearing that. Let's put my things down here. All right, next top. Many of these items had um, tags, some of them didn't, but she said they were all, she tried really hard to take very good care of her clothes. You could tell she was just a really sweet girl, works out at the airport here in Napa, and um, just a, just a, just great. But I meet the nicest people, I do. So anyway, here is um, a Deb top, and it's just, I guess it would be a little workout top. Next we have, I better, I better hurry up or go to, too long. Okay, this is an express sweater. A lot of these things I may keep because you know how you are. You just get looking in your wardrobe going, I am sick of every single thing I own. <laughs> I have nothing to wear. Anyway, this is a great dolman sleeve express sweater. Well, that would be a good layering piece um, for the winter. We have really mild winters here, so probably not have to put that on very often. Um, this is an exhilaration dress. Way, way cute, but too short. I was going to say way too short, but for me. <laughs> but it's too young for me, too small for me. But that's really adorable. That would be something I may put in a lot of something, like maybe with another sundress or something. Okay, next we have, it's kind of fun. It's like, it is like Christmas. 
a, a bit to do this. So this is a Michael Kors top. They sell really quickly. And this has really nice um, kind of a waterfall uh, flutter design going down the front, ruffles with um, perfectly preserved, tiny little sequins. So very sheer, but that would be very pretty at night. You'd sparkle. Who doesn't want to sparkle? Okay, next I have another express, kind of a dolman sleeve again. This is just a, um, what do you call it? A sh not a shrug, but a long cape. There is a pull on it. I'm gonna see if I can, if I can fix that. If I can pick, you know, you can. You can fix things like that. As long as they're not cut or frayed, you can um, um, fix them and they, they're just like new again. So I, I think that's a, that's, that looks just warm, warm. All right, next I have, this is a brand new item. It's an SBO skirt. Oh, it's a, this does not look like a skirt. Okay, it's a skirt, must be a, a designer. Sabo, oh, saboskirt.com. Brand new, still has its tags. Looks to be a little mini dress or even it could be a wrap top. Cute, cute ribbon, look at that. See the. It's the special things on a garment that make them fun to wear, that make you feel pretty. It has a, a nice hang to it, so I'm wondering if... Oh, it's fully lined, so no idea what that's worth. So I'll have to look that up. You could wear this as a mini skirt. I think you'd be... Um, I don't know. That I think that'd be a little... Well, I couldn't. <laughs> but, it, you know, you could wear it just over a pair of uh, leggings or something. I'm not sure what fabric that is, but moving along, we have an old navy. Looks like a beach cover-up. It could be a beach cover-up or just a cute little shift dress. And a uh, real cute design, very lightweight. However, you would not really be able to see through it that easily, so you could wear it as a dress. This is another item that still has a tag. How fun is this? It's a thread supply shirt. And it's a high-low split back. So it's it's got all the design things going on. It's ombre, okay? It's high-low hem and split back hem. So it's got some great things going on. That's really cute. It's still got its tag on it. I have no, it is not a, a designer that I am familiar with. So, which is not unusual. So um, I try to stay up on the designers that are will sell every time on eBay or uh, such, but I, there are so many, it's hard, it's hard to know. This is cute, little uh, uh, Old Navy, another little A-line, this is an A-line type dress, so it would be a, kind of have a swing feeling to it. You could wear it, but you'd have a heavy hang uh, swing at the bottom so that if you were dancing, it would twirl out on you, that's pretty cool. And then we have, I'm just getting to the inside of the box. Uh, this is a James Purse standard, another, this is just an uh, oversized shirt, layering shirt. That's That just looks really comfortable. You'd have to wear, I don't know, you'd have to wear the right undergarment or else it, it looks like it comes off your shoulders probably a lot. All right, and this is another Deb. Looks to be another workout shirt. That's what I would do with it. Could run in this because, boy, they wouldn't, the cars wouldn't miss you. All right, I'm, I've, got, I've got a ways to go. Okay. Remember, I paid 75 but I paid 80 but I was able to get it for 75 but I would not. So, okay, we get a carry. Ink, inked and faded. Okay, so how pretty is that? And it's got a, um, a gather tie at the bottom, so it would be sort of a, almost a peplum. Well, it would be a peplum look when you got finished putting it on and tying it. That's pretty. I don't know anything about that designer either. It's beautiful. I'm not going to take the time to look at the tags uh, and what they're made of because, that, I, again, I'm just at the top of this box, and it's, I'll show you the box. <laughs> so, even Mabel's a little surprised at me right now. Well, I didn't think it was, you sh I can't pass it up. Um, I just didn't want to pass it up with new. This is a Victoria's Secret Racerback tank top. Um, dress with a, I don't know what they call that, I have to look that aside, him, and it's black, it looks blue in the video, but it's at $68, it's still got its tag, 
It was on sale for $39.99. So it's a new tag. And then we have what another tagged item. The limited. Ooh, really nice de uh, constructed. I'm not going to be able to show that very well. Real nice construction back zip, fully lined skirt, black, perfect for the office. And again, active, oh, active basic. I think it's an active basic than the Amazon. I, I'm not sure. It might be. Maybe I'm wrong. But this is a long sleeve, long. It's, it's got the long, which I love. Um, it's got the long uh, hem, which nobody wants to continually tuck themselves in all the time to cover up. So, all right, next I have, oh, this has a hole in it, so I will probably give this away, but it was an airy. It looks to, that probably it was just another workout shirt, but it's got a hole where the tag was. So that one is no. Okay, here's a gap, a gap shirt. Cute. How cute is that? It's got just the right amount of fading on the gap to make it look nice. I'll probably keep this. I'm, um, uh, I love graphic tees. I have a graphic tee fascination. I'd wear them every single day if I could get away. Well, I guess I can. I mean, who's going to tell me not to? Um, but I love graphic tees. That's a graphic tee. Maybe I'll just keep it. All right. So here's another limited. And it is uh, what do call it? surplus style. Wrap. Actually, I don't know what you'd call that. Twi it's a twist front, but the twist is at the bottom. So it's really a layering piece. Black sheer. We're still going through it. Um, here we've got another gap shirt. This is cute. Buttons down each arm. You know, how fun is that? Gosh, that's a, and she was just this woman that sold me these. She just the tiniest little. She was like the size of a little pixie. She was tall, but very, very little. Um, but it doesn't, to me, it doesn't matter. It's, I'm, I'm trying to sell the items, and so it doesn't have to fit me. But this would fit me. <laughs> I like it. Uh, all right. Now we have next, it's not a new item, but it is a Gap striped basic tee. Cute, very cute. Just one of those teas you throw on when you want to go out and, and in this area to go out wine tasting or something like that. Although if you live here, maybe you don't wine taste that often. I don't know. I, I've lived here for many, many years and I don't, I can't remember the last time I went to a winery. <laughs> it's been a long time. Um, here's degrees. Pretty, oh, wait a minute. Must represent better than that. Oh, oh, okay. I, I don't think I've got this right, um, but it's it's got what appears to be a bow in the back, and I'm not showing it well, but it's a racer back chiffon cami style uh, with tears. All right, and we're moving on. Another item new with tags, American Rag. And I don't see a price. It's a Macy's tag, so... But it, I think, it, yeah, it is. It's a little uh, shorts jumper outfit. See? That's cute. How, how nice and comfortable with the surplus design in the front. And it, it feels like a rayon. It does. It just has that hang, that hang to it that a rayon has. Got two pieces on that one. Got two fish came up on the one hook. Okay, this is a BCBG Generation top. Cute. Well, let me, I'll show you the front. It's got like hop nailing on the front and then on the back, it has a zipper and can you tell, can you see open back there? That's adorable. That's a, that's a festival chic hippie. You'd wear it with a, maybe a jean skirt. Not me, <laughs> my daughter, my daughter would do it. My 24 year old daughter would do it, not me. All right, this, oh cute, another another new with tags. It's the limited. I don't want to get it all wrong and hold it up and have it look awful. Oh, okay, okay, oh, okay, it's a, um, a halter. Almost, uh, the material feels like silk. It might be, it might be. They can um, make things feel like silk. Cute, 
you know, for the right age. It does the, they've torn the price off, so I don't know what price it might have been at. I haven't been counting at all on how many I have. <laughs> I'm just going to count, but I have not. This is another U, new with tags from the limited. It was new at $29.99, and it's just a nice, normal, classic button-down, darted, so it's fit through here, darted piece, and Maven will probably look beautiful in it. She looks, she looks really good at everything. Okay. And we have an American Eagle, new with tags. And this is a crop, uh, kind of like a camisole crop look. New with tags. Oh, did, um, $19.95. This necessary clothing. Um, I'm sure it's not. <laughs> He ever looks at something and gone, I have no idea how to put that on. Okay, now I think I've got it. Scoop, scoop neck sleeveless and split back in a, uh, in a twist, in a cross back. All right. And we have an, a Mossimo basic, you know, mo oh, inside, no, not inside out. It's sewn so that the um, seams appear like it's inside out, but it's meant to be that way. And it's just a standard cardigan, standard white collar cardigan, black, and in perfect condition. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay, I'm I'm halfway done. So Banana Republic, small, another wonderful piece for the winter. And it's uh, I don't know what fabric it is, but it's a deep V, long sleeved. It's not new, but it's in excellent condition. Now we're, <laughs> I need help, I need a tag team out here. Uh, this is a bleh, Heritage 1981 piece, and it is a little um, scoop neck sweatshirt. Cute. Moving on to more grays, we have the Karen Cardigan from J. Crew. So that should be e easy to look up on eBay. They, they gave me the name of the, of the cut, so. That's neat. All right. I don't know. J. Crew Chino in, I would, well, you can't really see the color. Highlighter yellow, there's no question. They're so yellow, but cute. Cute go with several of the things I've already pulled out, so the shirts. I should make a lot of, you know, an outfit put together. Okay, this is. New tag J Crew, fifty-nine dollar. It is a constructed pair of shorts with the front lace, or no, excuse me, I'm sorry, that's more of an eyelet look, but it's fully lined, and in the back there is no eyelet, and it is a set-in waistband, and set-in waistbands are really good for keeping a really flat profile on your uh, <laughs> on this. <laughs> Okay, so here's a Michael Kors from Macy's skirt, $79.50, and it still has its tag, and it's eensy beansy tiny back zip set in waistband, um, small back, you wouldn't be able to walk in this thing if it didn't have the little slit in the back, very nice, um, has stretch to it, so you're, it's, it's just going to always look good all day long, all day long, you're going to look really good. All right, we've got... Free people, size 25 waist. <laughs> I think my waist was 25 when it was from going from 24 on the way up. Maybe it paused at 25, but that's probably the only time. <laughs> so, anyway, these are cute. These are those skinny, you know, they're probably more like leggings than they are anything else. I would not probably be able to get, no. <laughs> And here's another pair of, these are a handcrafted Lucky Brand, size two. I told, you know, like I said, she was very tall and very, very thin. Lovely, lovely girl. Um, so she had lots of these tiny pairs of pants. I'm not buying for me, I'm buying for Sally. Uh, here's Gap Girlfriend, Coop Girlfriend. Coop. So they look to be slightly cut off. They're cute. Lots of jeans in here. I'm getting toward near the end. 
Page, P-A-I-G-E, tiny, black jean, denim, black denim, skinny jeans. It's, you're going to see this start to pile up here and be like me up, up over it going, hello. <laughs> Where am I? I'll start putting stuff on the floor. Uh, Abercrombie and Fitch, very, very skinny, tiny, teeny, teeny, teeny. I, yeah, those are, wow. And they're, they say they're four long. They, they don't even look that, but they have a lot of stretch in them. So they're more, yeah, probably fit better than they look. This is cute. It's Essentials Full Tilt. Um, just a, This is a fun kind of a summer evening hoodie in a heathered gray with a ribbed bottom and bottom of the sleeves and a contrasting top bag. I'm running out of room. Okay, we're not, we're not going to run out of room. And J. Crew, extra small. This is just a hoodie, but it's uh, got contrasting inside outside, so it's uh, nicely constructed. Nicely constructed. And I check all the pockets, and if by any chance there's something in the pockets that I think would matter to this woman, I of course will contact her. I've had that happen before. <laughs> I bought a dresser years ago at an estate sale, and I got it home, and I pulled the drawer out, and it had a diamond ring in it. So I drove the diamond ring, because I didn't think they meant it to go with the dresser. True story. I drove the diamond ring all the way back to the estate sale, and I walked up, and I said, I don't think you meant this to be in the dresser. And the woman grabbed it out of my hands and said, were there any more like this? No, thank you. No, geez. You could have kept it because, no, you drove all the way back to do, nope, she says, did you see anything else like this? And walked away. <sighs> I still think I did the right thing. <laughs> J. Crew, plaid, cute. This is what they call a half zip. It's not a button down, it's just a half, that's adorable. How cute is that? Couldn't, I don't think it fit my shoulders, but very cute. All right. Um, true skinny gap jeans. Yes, they are truly very, very skinny. Oh, gosh, I'm starting to, <laughs> I'm starting to lose room. <laughs> Here we go. More jeans. Oh, my, those don't look so tiny. They're 27s. They're, they're, uh, they're the distressed. I like that. Those are cute. Whiskering, distressed, beat up. You know, the look that everybody wants. Okay. Uh, J Brand, don't know this maker, probably, probably somebody everybody else knows, but I don't. And it is, does not look that small, but I don't see a size here. J Brand jeans, and they are a boot cut, and they, they do have the, um, she wore heels. She wore heels with those. No question about it. And I think this is the last pair of jeans. True Religion. Straight. Size. 27. The classic true religion back pockets. Classic. I guess I'm thinking they just always have interesting pockets. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to cut a lot of this video. I'm going to have to chop it because it's going to go on forever. <laughs> gap. Standard back uh, gap shirt. And I've run out of room to put the clothes. I'm still, I'm still quite a few pieces of clothes away from being done. The beautiful ones. Oh, I like this one. This is a this may be a keeper for me because it is a graphic t-shirt. That's I like that. That's I've never heard of that um, maker, but look at this. Look at this. I'm just gonna pile it there. It's gonna take me a while to list this. That's why I might leave the arms off of Maven um, because it's much easier just to put things on and you know not try to put the arm fish the arms through stuff. It just goes much faster. I love this shirt. I have a feeling this might be something I keep. And this is a loft shirt. I just like the print. It's one of those beautiful prints. Ah, we're almost there. <sighs> okay. Yep. This is a My Story. And this is a, um, what do you call these? Boy, I wouldn't even know. Well, okay. So you would wear it like this. It's a high-low. And then in the back, it has that open design. Nice. Nice. Very pretty. All right. Now we're moving into the winter. <laughs> and we have 
and American Eagle Outfitters. This looks so warm. Can you not just picture yourself in a cabin in South Lake Tahoe after your day skiing? I can't because I haven't skied in so long, but still, somebody out there could <laughs> look at the pile. <laughs> it starts way down here. <laughs> okay, so then I have a loft, a crochet knit um, with hood. Dolman sleeve. No, 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 not Dolman sleeve. Um, this just is a, you know, a layery piece, and I'm stacking it up more, and I'm still going. Oh, Massimo basic sweater. I, I like Target brand clothes. I think they're great. I think, I think they're great, and I think they have good prices, and I think they're, uh, I would never turn my nose up at buying something that was Massimo brand. This has some pilling on it, some wear, um, easily sweater shaved, really cute pockets and everything. It's, it's one of those really big cable knit sweater. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay. American Eagle Outfitters, another, okay, this is just a large um, zip up hoodie, patterned zip up hoodie, and the pattern is Kind of a southwest pattern, I guess. I have to get out my encyclopedia of fashion. What the heck is that called? That is a so-and-so collar, you know. Um, Banana Republic sweater in a deep olive green, so that would go with a lot. Not new. But we had I have plenty of new items in this box. Remember I paid $80. The limited. Very nice layering sweater, very sheer, probably came with a belt, and the belt might be in there because I see little loops. So I'm just going to keep stacking. I'm, I'm nearing the end. I'm, I'm, I have, this is the second to last piece. Okay, this is a Charming Charlie size small peplum lace sheer spaghetti strap halter style in the back. Cool. Could go with those uh, shorts that are like uh, highlighter yellow. How cute would that be? Um, and then, last but not least, Jolie by no, Jolie USA, and it's another layering gray sheer uh, high low hem piece. And um, it's got a couple of pulls in the back. So if I can't pull them back through, then I'll just donate it or clip them off and donate it because people can use like there are people that buy things at, at thrift stores and then they refashion them and they can cut this off and sew on a lace bottom and you wouldn't have any of the pulls on it but it would be a nice crop top and you wouldn't look like anybody else because you would have a one-of-a-kind piece so that was the end of the box <laughs> so um, I'll count how many there were and then I'll put it at the end of this video uh, I have no idea. And then I'll tell you how much that, that I paid per piece. And I'll try to give an estimate, although it, it takes time, give an estimate of what I think I might be able to sell these items for. So anyway, keep your eye open for treasures. Eyes open. Eyes, both of them, open, <laughs> open for treasure. And uh, have a great day. Hi, just to wrap up, um, I counted out, and I made a counted wrong slightly but I, I counted 59 pieces in that lot of which 11 were brand new I don't need to turn this around I paid $80 for the 59 pieces so that was a dollar 36 per item 11 of them were new with tags so I think that was a <laughs> that's that's garage sale prices which is really that's like rummage sale prices I mean there's like the lowest is a rummage sale price and then garage sale and then thrift stores and on up but that's really uh, good she had a lot of really nice items they were in good condition so I don't know let's hope let's cross fingers that I can get um, I'm guessing 59 items it wouldn't be terribly hard to get about $500 <clears throat> and I mean gross profit. Um, I'm not talking about eBay fees and all that. But I think I can make a profit before all my fees, you know, and then you go from there. But uh, eBay fees end up being about, eBay and PayPal, about 13 to 15% of the sale price of the item. And um, so, you know, I, I factor those in. So 
Okay. We'll see you next time. Bye. Please remember to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the little cat in the right hand corner and we'll do more unboxings, unbaggings, and unjarrings together. Bye.